Hi, my name is Patrick Ward, and I'm from Tampa, Florida in the U.S., and this is my video assignment for the Introduction to Music Production course. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Logic Pro X project, uh, create a simple audio track, and then get it ready for recording. To begin with, we'll uh, go ahead and create a new project from a template. I like to use this new from template because it has some nice uh, default settings that you can use. So as you can see, you can create a new project from any of a number of different templates. Uh, for today, we'll just go ahead and create an empty project so we can show the process of creating a new track as well. You can choose the tempo, you can choose a key signature, uh, but I think uh, for our purposes, it's also very important to go ahead and choose the sample rate and set it up to 48 kilohertz. Once that's done, you can go ahead and uh, choose the project. So now that uh, Logic Pro has uh, created a new project, it immediately sets you into a new track uh, mode. So we'll go ahead and set audio. You can choose guitar or bass, and in my case, I might wanna record my acoustic guitar, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose audio. I'm also going to go ahead and make sure that the input is set to input 1, which is the input that my guitar is plugged into on my audio interface. I'm going to make sure that record enable is checked so that my track is just ready to go uh, when I'm ready to record. Then I can hit create, and Logic Pro has created a nice track for me. Before we do any more adjustment to the track itself, though, I want to go ahead and set up a few Logic Pro settings. So I'm going to go up here to Logic Pro X, uh, Preferences, and Audio. Now that I've opened up the uh, Audio Preferences panel, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all the settings are correct. Uh, my output and my input devices are correct. They've both been set to the audio interfa interface that I use. Uh, the buffer size is 128 samples, so that's a good one to set. Uh, we can make sure that the word length is 24-bit, and uh, I think the rest looks good. So we'll go ahead over to the General tab, and we'll make sure that the recording file type is set to the broadcast wave format. Once that's done, we can go ahead and exit out of there. And the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and set up some project settings itself. So we're going to go to Project Settings, Audio. And we're just going to make sure that the sample rate is what we set it to. Uh, in this case, 48 kilohertz. The next thing I'll usually do is I'll go over to the metronome and I'll go ahead and make sure that it says click while recording. And you can also do clicks while the, the music is playing back, but I don't tend to use that very often. Next, I'll look at the recording tab and I'll set the count in. In this case, it's automatically set to one bar. Now you can set it to none, which will essentially not give you any count in. You can set it to several bars, or you can set it to a different time signature. Once that's done, we can exit out of there. And the next thing we can do is we can uh, make a few adjustments to our audio track itself. Uh, let's give it a more meaningful name by double-clicking on the, the name and then typing in something a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll go ahead and set guitar. And the next thing you can do, you can set some, uh, some effects processing on it by uh, coming over here to the library and choosing, uh, in this case, acoustic guitar, and we'll choose natural strum. And that just gives us some nice uh, built-in settings that would be useful for uh, recording the uh, acoustic guitar itself, or at least during the playback of it. I'm going to go ahead and close out the library. And now we've got our uh, guitar track set up. We're ready to go. We've got a recording enabled. Let me see if I can check the levels on the guitar here real quick. So the levels look pretty good, and we're just ready to record. And that's really all there is to uh, recording. Now if you wanted to create an additional track, you can go ahead and hit the plus sign and create a, a track just like we did for the uh, guitar track. So I hope this was useful for you. Uh, Logic Pro X is new to me. I've never used uh, a DAW like this before, so it took me a few tries to figure out uh, where everything was, and hopefully this is uh, uh, correct and useful to you as well. Thank you.